That's right. We are with Joe Roskowski and Toby Rogers from the original Oyster House, and we are busy at work here in our Studio 10 kitchen. We've got a lot to do this morning, lots to cook, lots to talk about. Where do you want to start here, Joe? Well, we got a lot going on this morning. First of all, I um, wanted to say thank you for having us here. Sure. And um, today we're going to prepare grouper in a bag, mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to start out with uh, Sauteing off some nice colorful vegetables, some onions, green peppers, and mushrooms. Do we got butter or oil in there right that's now? That's butter. Okay. Yep, that's about uh, two tablespoons of butter. We're going to get those going, mm -hmm. and then what we're going to do is brush our parchment paper here, which we have cut out in the form of a heart. Sure. It's all about love during the holiday season. Just for season. cherish. <laughs> yeah, or for cherish, okay. And we, we're going <laughs> to brush that with butter, mm -hmm. take our, uh, our mixture, after it gets cooked down a little bit, we're going to add a little bit of Joe and Dave spice, mm -hmm. which uh, you can buy at the Original Oyster House or at OriginalOysterHouse.com. Right. Great stocking stuffer. Uh, lay some grouper fillets out on, on the parchment paper. Put Joe and Dave's on top, a little bit of white wine, scallions, crab meat, fold it over, crimp the edges, and bake it off. Bring it out, open it up. It's going to smell great, and you're going to love grouper in a bag. Sure. And what are all the vegetables we do have in here for the folks? We've got on? red and green pepper. Mm -hmm. Uh, sliced yellow onion and sliced fresh mushrooms. We're just going to lightly saute those because when they go into the bag, they'll actually steam a little bit and all the flavors will get into the fish and that kind of mm -hmm. thing. And towards the end of the end of the show today, we're going to do, Toby's going to do a Windy Rita. A Windy Rita. Yes, and uh, Windy Rita is uh, kind of to uh, coincide with our uh, initiative that we're doing tomorrow, which mm -hmm. is the Causeway's first wind turbine. Uh, Pretty exciting stuff. And you know what? Cherish is going to be out there. She's also going to be with you in the next segment. So I'm going to let you guys talk all about it when we come back great. in a little while. So the recipe is right. online. We've got the cooking started. We're going green. We're going to tell you all about that in a little bit. And we've got a fantastic drink on the way. A busy day in the Studio 10 kitchen and Santa hats. All right. Absolutely. Of yeah. course. Festive. Lots going on, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back. We are in our great kitchen set today with Joe and Toby from the original Oyster House. Two locations, one on the bay and then one at the beach. Correct. Thank you. That's and thank you very much. We are going to be doing something really big tomorrow at your location on the bay in Spanish Fort. Yes, you're going to be there for the ribbon cutting. We are uh, raising the first wind turbine on the causeway to take advantage of the beautiful breeze. Uh, along with celebrating some of the other initiatives that we're doing there. We're doing a solar hot water heater at both locations, and we've been making biodiesel out of, actually out of our cooking oil for about the last two years, a tool for four of our company trucks. So a lot of things happening, and that is all kind of to commemorate our 30th year in business. That's wonderful. Doing your part to save the environment. Now, this right. ribbon cutting ceremony, are you inviting everybody to come out and check sure, everything out? Sure, we'd love to have everybody come out. Uh, of course, we've got great gumbo. It's an opportunity to come out and pick up some of Joe and Dave's products, uh -huh. which our great stocking stuffers. Yeah. Um, and uh, just going to be a fun, a fun, fun morning. Okay, and again, that is tomorrow, 11 o'clock, and it's going to be at the original Oyster House on the Causeway. Very easy to find, and I'm sure you'll see a lot of cars there because a lot of us are going to be there. As we mentioned, I'll be there as well, cooking up some great food as well. That's what we're doing in the kitchen. Correct. Right. We got the grouper in the bag. We went ahead and sauteed our vegetables lightly. Added our crab meat and our cream sauce. Mm -hmm. Now we've gone ahead. And Don't forget the Joe and Dave Jaya spice. Joe and Dave Joe Jaya. And Dave. Okay. We spice. put that in there. Also, we went ahead and brushed the bag, the with parchment paper. With a little bit of butter. Butter. We're going to add a little bit of white wine mm -hmm. over the top. Okay. Toby's going to top that with our crab meat mushroom, uh, green pepper and onion mixture. All right. Uh, it's got a little bit of uh, cream sauce in it to, to bind it all together. Lightly sauteed. Now, what I'm going to do is fold this over. Real simple to do, and you can do this with chicken, you can do it with pork, you can do it with anything. And you start at the top of the heart, and you just start folding over. It's real simple to do. Parchment paper, cut it in the shape yes, of a heart. That's correct. It. Easy. And just bring it around, and you can actually make small ones if you'd like to do for you know appetizers mm -hmm. for yeah. a holiday party. Good idea. Um, a lot of different things you can do with it. It's very versatile, but you just keep folding it over. Okay. Until you get down to the end. All right. And when you get down to the very bottom. Again, it, it'll it'll all stay together when it when it heats up. Uh, everything will tighten up a little bit, and you kind of fold the end up underneath. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Uh, wow. We've got two of them here. We're going to pop them in the oven at uh, 400 degrees Please. for 15 minutes. Correct. 
and it, they steam through, the flavors get throughout the fish and everything, and it's really, really good. And then you cut it open, and a little bit of steam pops out. It smells real good, and uh, just a great dish. Great holiday dish also. Sounds fantastic. Okay, so again, two locations, Original Oyster House. You can find out more about the restaurants when you log on to our website. You can also find out about the big ceremony tomorrow. These guys are going green, and you'll find this recipe. So, as we said earlier, a lot going on here in the kitchen, and when we come back, We'll see how these things turned out, and I know they're going to taste fantastic. And towards the end of the segment, Toby is going to do a Wendy Rita. That's right. So you want to so. stick around for that as well. All right. Here we go in the kitchen with the folks from the original Oyster House, Joe and Toby. Joe, I know you're itching to take a look at what I we've been am. cooking today. <laughs> what do we got here? There is our grouper. In a bag. Grouper in a yep. bag. Pretty cool it recipe. Just, here. just came out of the oven. Real simple. You can mm -hmm. make them up ahead of time. And you put it on a plate. And it smells great. Take some kitchen shears. Open it up. You see all the pretty vegetables and everything in there. Wow, look at that. It's ready Fantastic. to go. Fantastic. Grouper in a bag. Grouper in a bag, and you got to have. A drink to go with it. We've got a fantastic drink to tell you about in honor of the original Oyster House going green and wind powered energy, solar energy there. We've got the Windy Rita. Tell Windy us what Rita. the Windy Rita is all about. I got a uh, two ounces of Merlot, ounce and a quarter of tequila, and then I have six ounces of margarita mix, crushed ice, and a garnish. Okay. We're going to start first. We're going to put the Merlot in the bottom of our glass. Okay, then we're going to add our crushed ice. I don't think I've ever seen a drink quite like this, combining yeah. Merlot with tequila and I'm lime. hit this one time. I'm going to add my mix. Okay. We blended that up. Mm -hmm. Little stir. Make sure all the ice is all the way down in the bottom. Don't uh -huh. stick your spatula in there while it's on. Good tip. Definitely. <laughs> Gonna add our tequila. <laughs> Gonna hit it one more time. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna see how this works out now. Pour it in a salted glass. Look at that. And you're going to garnish that with a lime. It looks like so good. And the big day, of course, is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow yeah. we we uh, are going to raise the first wind, wind turbine at the causeway. Uh, looking very much forward to it. And we'll have some coverage of that on Studio 10. Cherish is going to be going out there to help celebrate with you guys. She the is. food looks good. The Windy Rita looks fantastic. Original Oyster House is going green. Plenty of reasons to come on out this holiday season and check out the folks from the Original Oyster House. We'll be right back.